In the world of publishing, the accepted wisdom is that if a writer reaches 20,000 book sales, they're given that prized title, best-selling author. Based on that then, there aren't enough superlatives to describe Leanne Moriarty. This unassuming Australian's books sell not in the thousands, but the millions. In fact, more than 14 million at last count. No wonder Hollywood superstars Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon came knocking on Leanne's door. They loved her novel Big Little Lies so much, they turned it into a television blockbuster, which has turned Leanne Moriarty into an even greater success story. It's the drama series that lured Hollywood stars to our television screens yeah. and captivated audiences around the world. Hi. So Hi. Nice. She came to my rescue when I was trying to save young lives. It's a whole story. I'm going to kill Abigail. Big Little Lies is based on the book written by Australian author Leanne Moriarty. But being a mother, it's not enough for me. A story revealing the dark side of suburbia. Well, Leanne wrote it originally. That bagged eight Emmys and four Golden Globes. Nicole took it from there. That, that is an extraordinary outcome from your own storytelling. I know, it is, yes. <laughs> I, can't, I just I can't think, I know, I know, but I can't think about it too much or else I guess it makes me freeze if I think about it too much. It must tell you you're doing something right. I guess so, or I'm just very lucky. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> I'm doing something right, and but I do think I have, feel I have to say it so that the you know the universe understands that I'm grateful. <laughs> what? And Nicole Kidman couldn't agree more. <laughs> this is not funny, Celeste. She won an Emmy and a Golden Globe for her role as Celeste. So, what really happened? I've just come from the set, which is why I know, I'm, I'm still I'm Celeste. Celeste. You're I watching know. Celeste right now. I feel very weird. I've done this only because it's <laughs> yes, you I know. and it's Leanne, no, and I'd never normally do this, but I'm doing this. That shows you how much I love her. I would. It all me. started four it. years ago. No, I love my grudges. I tend to them like little pets. And Reese Witherspoon read Leanne's book. She enlisted Nicole to try and secure the rights in the hope of turning the book into a television series. And um, I said, OK, I'll read it. I read it overnight. I'm a big reader. And I said, I'm flying to Australia tomorrow. Do you want me to kind of try to hook up with Leanne and, and get the rights to the book? And she's like, yes, yes. So we met in Darlinghurst in a coffee shop. When I got there, the cafe was closed. So I thought to myself, I wonder if they've closed the cafe just for her. I don't know, maybe that's the way <laughs> things are done. Uh, and so I walked around the back and I could see the cooking, the staff. Uh, and so I thought I should make meaningful eye contact with them. And I said, um, are you closed? And they said, yes. And so I looked at them and said, but are you closed for everyone? Uh, and they said, yes, we're closed for everyone. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so then we finally found another place to meet. And she, <laughs> she was lovely and warm and um, very down to earth. And we were just like two Australian women discussing our lives. And within that time, I said, can we, I mean, if you would let us, we, would, we promise you we'll get this made. So I was like, OK. In my head, I was like, OK, so I've got to do this now. Hello. My pleasure. It might sound like an overnight success story, but it isn't. I'm loving all your books. I've been catching up to do. Before Big Little Lies, Leanne Moriarty had already written five novels. Six years every day. She was one of the few authors in the world to have three books simultaneously listed on the New York Times bestsellers list, the first Australian to be listed upon publication. So I need to read your new book. You do. I have to get you a copy. At 51, Leanne is a wife and mother and also a sister to five siblings, two of whom, Jacqueline and Nicola, are also successful novelists. Are you brutally honest with each other? 
No, no. that's not the point, no. 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 Oh, okay. Jack, no, Jackie, no. Jackie is especially good at reading it very quickly and sending a text message which is, this is a masterpiece, mm. um, which is really, really what you All need. Right. I did think we were a bit honest, though. Are we yeah, saying we're yeah. not honest at all? <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be my next right. question, but thanks for <laughs> asking. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I believe you when you say it's perfect. <laughs> It seems the Moriarty girls were always destined to be writers. As kids, their father would pay them $1.50 for every completed tale. But Leanne almost missed her calling. She ditched her job as a copywriter in advertising only after her sister Jacqueline published her first novel. I say, I say I felt envy and I also felt a sense of rage, but the rage was really... Um, against myself because I, Jackie had gone ahead and achieved our childhood dream and I hadn't even tried. That was 15 years ago, but it took another 10 years and four more novels before Leanne became a bestseller. Ironically, not in Australia, but in America. Was it disappointing that we got onto it late? That, that America had to show us? <laughs> that you're a pretty damn good writer. Of course you want to be recognised in, in your own country. You know, I remember I'd topped the New York Times bestseller list and I thought maybe I'd be invited to the Sydney Writers Festival now, but I wasn't, and I thought, right, well, that's it. <laughs> Are they never going to invite me? Um, I had to do it twice before I, I did get invited. Does it mean more if Australians... I don't know, Celebrate does you? it? Or does it not matter? But, you know, maybe it just makes the success sweeter um, that I had to do so many events where there was nobody in the audience um, except the bookshop owner and the bookshop owner's mother. <laughs> Australia did finally catch on to what the rest of the world loved about Leanne's work. Really? And I think you're brilliant. <laughs> so. Stories deeply rooted in Australian backyards often inspired by Leanne's own upbringing on the leafy north shore of Sydney. So I still get a very silly, self-conscious look on my face whenever I see my books on the shelf. Well, you know, Despite having sold 14 million books, Leanne is very much the reluctant literary star. So it is very lovely to see Seemingly books. almost embarrassed by her success. The other thing that stands out to me is that your name yes. is much bigger than your titles now. <laughs> That's right. It, yes. That means that people are identifying with you, doesn't it? I guess. I guess they might be. <laughs> I know you feel terribly self-conscious about it. I do, I do when you say that. <laughs> this week, yet another Leanne Moriarty novel will join the shelves. <laughs> oh, we've had a fantastic reaction from the book proof. They're, they're saying it's actually their favourite one. No. no, you always want to hear the most recent. It's, it's the best. Her new yeah, book, no, no, no. Nine Perfect Strangers, is set in a health resort. Like all good books, this has an incredible twist in it. Mm. Where the hell did that come from? That twist, uh, that came from an article I read, I think, in the New York Times. Of um, So we, we can't say no, what you, it is. No, you can't but... say what the twist is. Well, it wasn't what I expected. Wasn't it? I good. burst into laughter. Is that, was that OK with you? Yes, yes. No, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Kidman has already snapped up Nine Perfect Strangers, the third of Leanne's novels Kidman has added to her collection. They'll be on Nicole's to-do list, now season two of Big Little Lies has wrapped. The much anticipated sequel, Leanne agreed to write, but with the hope it would feature a particular actor. Did she put it on you to get Meryl Streep? <laughs> She's fantastic at casting. So she cast me as Celeste, basically. She was like, I think that's who you should play in the book. And then she wrote a character called Mary Louise. And Mary Louise happens, that happens to be Meryl's real name. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Huh. So that's how clever she is. So, and then she said, um, so now you have to get me Meryl Streep. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm like, Leanne, come on. We can't get you Meryl Streep. 
And they were teasing me, saying, oh, Leon, you've become so Hollywood. Look at you now. You're picking up the phone saying, get me Meryl. Uh, and I can remember saying, oh, my goodness, if I can one day say to my friends, I said, get me Meryl, and you actually got me Meryl, my life will be complete. So I suppose I have to say now that my life is complete. Well, not exactly. Leanne's got a bit more limelight to deal with. It's been 13 years since she has been here to Dangar Island in Sydney's Hawkesbury River. So this is the inspiration for the next Hollywood blockbuster. Um, yes, the hope is that it could be the next Big Little Lies. Her second book, The Last Anniversary, was based on this tiny community and is the next story Nicole Kidman intends to bring to life. This time, though, you're adamant yes. it has to be filmed it, here in Australia. That's right. This one has to be because um, it's set on the Hawkesbury River and the landscapes are really important part of the book. Uh, and so it couldn't be set anywhere else in the world except here. The story is about a woman who's in her 30s, who's single and who's desperate for a baby. I will admit that at the time I was in my 30s and single and desperate for a baby. When Nicole said she'll have that, what did you think? I was thrilled. <laughs> so I was just thrilled. <laughs> it's quite an extraordinary story in many respects for somebody like Leanne, as you said. She's, a, she's just a regular Australian, you know, mum who happens to write who happens to have books. extraordinary talent and, you know, she proves to people that you can do this. Um, you can sit in your house in, in the suburbs of, of the North Shore and write a novel that changes your life. Look, I don't know what success is for you, you when you're a writer, but that, have you, has your sister set a bar now that's... <laughs> Probably. Required? <laughs> it's, well, it just becomes more and more ridiculous. There's more and better and better. So she was a New York Times number one bestseller and yeah, that's exciting. And suddenly and she has the, three. And almost. then she's got, and then it's almost like we all wanted to go on a holiday somewhere. And Nicola and I got to go to France and Italy and Leon got to go to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so. A small village with so many people is just the thing. Leanne Moriarty's own story is a page-turner. Who knew so much stuff went on in normal backyards? <laughs> yes. Well, it does, gosh. Actually, it does. It really does. An aspiring writer from the Burbs with a childhood dream who now has a world of readers spellbound and Hollywood hanging off her every word. Of course, if she was writing this story, it would have a dark side, and that's what worries Leanne. You're still not even convinced you are a writer, huh? Oh, no, I'm convinced. Um, are you not convinced that you really, truly are a good writer? Uh, well, it's very hard to be objective about your own, your own work, so no, I don't feel like a fraud, but I think it's good for me to have it's good to have that self-doubt. It's good to have a tiny bit of the self-loathing as long as I can put it aside, as long as it helps me be, be a better writer. Yes, it's perhaps part of your Australian culture that Maybe, doesn't allow yes, that's you right. to go, yeah. That's <laughs> right, yeah. So I won't be a tall poppy because I'll cut myself down first. It's OK. You don't need to do it, everybody. <laughs> Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.